Alphabet for win-win solutions. The solution to any problem can be achieved if we create the right conditions for the ideal final result. Very often, the perfect solution, which we've discussed in the previous videos, can be obtained through careful analysis and diagnostics of our problem. But if the problem persists, we have a set of TRIZ tools that can be used to find the most helpful and relevant solution. Probably the best known set of TRIZ tools is the 40 inventive principles. We know that the English language has 26 letters in the alphabet. Russian has 33 and Japanese has 46. In the same way, there are 40 letters of invention or inventive principles. From a very limited number of letters, we can create thousands of words. Those words go on to form infinite sentences and the sentences make up the entire world's literature. In a similar way, the 40 inventive principles can lead to the creation of millions of solutions. In order to find the best principle, we need to look into the contradiction matrix. Inventive principles are 40 patterns of thinking which inventive minds can engage with to get win-win solutions for any challenge. Now anyone can become a genius inventor by applying these principles rationally. To find the inventive principle which works best for you, use the contradiction matrix. First ask yourself, what do I want to improve or achieve? The features we want to improve are presented in the rows of the contradiction matrix. Secondly, ask yourself, if I improve this parameter, what gets worse? The features that create obstacles to improvement are presented in the columns of the table. The crossings of rows and columns gives us the cells with the numbers of the inventive principles. Use the inventive principles to get inspired about solution options. In the first film, we told you a story about an astonishing challenge that appeared in the metal quenching process. Let's resolve it. Let's look at a case study from 1980. In the city of Angarsk, one of Russia's largest engineering plants provided steel processing. A crane controlled by workers took hot one-ton blocks of metal from the furnaces, then submerged these in baths of oil to rapidly cool and harden them. Oil is the preferred medium for rapid heat transfer, as it minimizes distortion and cracking in the cooling metal. This process is called quenching. When hot steel touches oil, it burns and makes a lot of smoke, which the workers were complaining about. The first obvious solution to address that complaint was to get rid of the smoke by improving the ventilation system. To do this properly, large exhaust ventilation pipes were installed. These were bulky and affected the work of other equipment. Also, drafts from air intakes were so strong that the workers would get cold and again complain. The second obvious solution was to close the bath with a lid. However, this prevented the crane operator from seeing the submerging process and careful control of this was essential. Then a brilliant idea came to mind. To do the process quicker. Quenching the metal in two seconds rather than ten, resulting in seven percent less smoke. However, fast submerging created waves in the oil, so the walls of the bath needed to be modified. Money was spent on extending these. Another issue was that the crane was not designed for the faster process. There was no braking system to allow for miscalculations of speed and distance, and as a consequence, a hot metal block broke the bath. The result? Two tons of oil spilled all over the floor, stopping production for several days whilst it was cleaned up. When it happened a second time, it was realised that the new solution wasn't working well at all. To improve the situation, a new braking system was installed. This stopped the submersion process as soon as the metal was fully immersed. As the steel blocks were very heavy, the sharp braking caused dynamic impact forces to travel through the crane's main beam, which then started to bend, a critical situation. The obvious solution then seemed that if the beam was being bent, it needed to be strengthened with additional framework. Significant improvements to the cranes were made, which seemed to be effective. But, after some time, they noticed the floor under the crane rails was cracking as a result of the additional weight. This was not a local problem, 
the fractures put the whole building at risk of sudden collapse. This was a critical situation that needed serious capital investment and a professional TRIZ expert on board in order to solve. This was an example of how standard reactive problem solving damaged an entire system. The result was eight months of lost production capacity at a cost of over $2 million. In the second film, you learnt that problem definition should be done in functional terms. Our challenge is to get rid of unwanted function, emittance of smoke. All implemented solutions lead to disaster, so we can't learn from those failed solutions. In the third film, we learned about the ideal final result. Smoke emittance disappears naturally. Using what we have learnt in film 4, we define objects that produce harmful effects. Hot oil interacts with air and produces smoke. Then we localise the harmful action. We realise that this happens only on the surface of the oil exactly along the line of its contact with hot metal. We face the contradiction now. Hot oil quenches metal, which is good, but produces smoke, which is bad. Now we need to develop the conditions when smoke emission ends naturally, which is the absence of air, or oxygen to be precise. This is a physical contradiction. Air, or oxygen, should be present for people to breathe, but it should not be there for oil to stop burning. Using the separation principle in space, we realise that we do not need air exactly at the line of oil where it comes into contact with hot metal. Let's use the contradiction matrix. We need to eliminate the object generated harmful factor, row number 39 in the matrix, but there is a lot of air around, the limiting parameter, quantity of substance, column number 4 in the contradiction matrix. The crossings of the 39th row and the 4th column gives us the cell with the numbers of recommended inventive principles. Number 3, local quality. Number 24, mediator. Number 29, inert atmosphere or vacuum, and number one, segmentation. The solution is, use the mediator of segmented inert gas locally. Segmented inert gas is foam. What resources do we have around us that consist of inert foam? Fire extinguisher. After the spreading of carbon dioxide foam on the surface of the oil in the bath, smoke production disappeared naturally. Ideal, final result achieved. Burning problem is solved. Now you've watched all the videos, you've learnt the basics of TRIZ. If you'd like to know more about how to apply TRIZ in practice, you can book a workshop, private course or bespoke lecture. These can be arranged via our website, www.biotriz.com or you can call us on 01225 920 226.